Hi, I hope this video is not gonna be a total disaster because it's windy outside, the sun is really bright and I don't know if the camera, if it's all too bright, the birds are like, yay, it's spring, finally, woo woo woo. Can you shut up, please? So, hi, today I'm having a really cool abs workout for you. You don't necessarily need a weight, but I really recommend to use one if you want this workout to be an advanced workout. So don't worry, you don't need to have any dumbbells. You can just use anything you have at home. So for example, I have tomato sauce right here or um, a jar which I filled with some lentils or you can also use a heavy book. I have the mosaic, Mosa mosaic. How do you pronounce it in English? It's a really heavy book. And I'm just gonna try the book and the tomato sauce today. Mmm, delicious. We're having two rounds. And the first round I'm gonna do with the book and the second round with the tomato sauce. At the end of the video, I'm gonna recommend you which one is better. I think the tomato sauce because it's, yeah, you can grab it better, kind of, yeah. So we have seven exercises. Each of the exercises will be 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off. So in the 15 seconds rest, I'm just gonna explain the next exercise to you. And without further ado, let's get started. So for our first exercise, we're gonna lay on the ground. And the most important thing is really to press your lower back into the ground for every almost every exercise we have today so when we lay on our back always try to press the lower back into the ground as much as possible so there's no space in between your back and the ground so let me show you the first exercise we have it's like a um, bike crunch but every time we lift one leg we're gonna bring our weight through the leg stretch out again so, and repeat. Really press that lower back into the ground. You lift that upper body when you crunch, so you really feel it in the abs. Exhale when you get up, inhale when you get down. Okay, the next exercise are gonna be sit-ups, but we're gonna place our weight over our head and sit all the way up and go down really slowly. So squeeze your abs on the way down and up again. Squeeze the abs. Slowly, 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 all the way down and up. Try to keep the tension the whole time, getting up and also when you get down. Okay, so the next exercise is going to be a Russian twist. So sit down, lean back your upper body, and now we're gonna twist and bring the weight from one side to the other. If you want this exercise to be a bit harder, you can also lift your legs and even straighten them. That will make it even harder because you can lean back more. Oh, I'm gonna this one. Really try to look at your weight all the time really get that twist in the upper body and focus on your obliques. Next exercise is going to be toe touches. So lay down on your back again. Lift up your legs, they don't have to be straight. 
and now we're gonna lift our weight to our toes try to touch them and go back down keep your lower back pressed into the ground and exhale when you get up and inhale when you get down Try not to move your legs so they're always staying in the same position, not like that or anything. I mean, that's a bit too much what I did right now, but you know what I mean. Okay, what's next? Okay, so we have our banana hold or boat hold, whatever you want to call it. So press the lower back into the ground. Put the head and the weight over your head and lift the leg and we're gonna hold it for 45 seconds. Really, don't forget to press that lower back into the ground. Rather lift your legs a bit, but really don't bring that lower back up. So it's better to hold the legs up here than to hold them here and don't have the lower back on the ground. If that's too hard for you, you can also put the weight here. And that might be easier than you can lower your leg a little bit more. It's hard to talk while exercising. Okay. So, next one is side crunches. So, lay on your side. You can put your arm under your head or up the side and now lift your arm and we're gonna do side crunches really try to lift your upper body up from the power of your side abs and not from your lower arm so try not to put too much weight on that arm if you want to make it even harder lift your legs and and squeeze those side abs. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Okay, now we're just gonna switch sides and that's also gonna be the last exercise of our first circuit. Okay, so now we're gonna repeat all the exercises again. So we start with our bicycle crunch and oh, I wanted to do it with the book. I forgot. Ah. Okay, so let's go with the book. It's a bit harder. Press the lower back into the ground. Don't forget it. the exercise in your own pace so maybe you want to do it a bit slower that's okay too oh, okay next is gonna be sit-ups with the weight over our heads extend the arms and sit up
really go up slowly and also go down really slow. So focus on your abs because that's what we want to train and we are going to train anyway. So make the best out of it and really squeeze your abs as hard as possible. last time we're gonna do this exercise today so really give it your best so next one is our Russian twist again <clears throat> so depending on your level or how, how, how uh, or <laughs> how hard you want to have that exercise um, you can lift your legs or even straighten them I'm gonna try that out right now because why not Okay, I could read something like that. Wow, that's so interesting. Oh, yeah. oh. Remember to really twist that upper body so you really have the focus on your obliques. And breathe regularly. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, so <clears throat> next we're gonna have toe touches, so go back down on the floor, lift your legs, you can bend them or straighten them, extend them, <laughs> and then bring the weight to your heels. Try to, if you don't have a weight, like try to high five your feet, high ten. If you say that, is that even a phrase like to give yourself a high 10? Oh my god, I should stop talking. Ow, it's uncomfortable right here. Again, our boat haul, the worst exercise, but we're gonna get through this together. Okay, three, two, one, and hold. I'm gonna go for this version right now. Press the lower back into the ground and breathe. Don't forget to breathe, it's really important. You can also do it like that, or you can as well drop the weight if it's too hard for you, but keep fighting. Keep fighting, it's almost over. I'm so proud of you that you made it until here and now we're gonna finish our last two exercises together stay strong Again, try to lift your upper body up of the power of your abs, not from your arm, your lower arm, because that's cheating. And I don't want you to cheat. Or do you want to cheat? Okay. And switch sides, our last exercise for today. And then you did it. 15 minutes of abs. Okay. Let's get started. Let's finish this. Let's finish what we started.
Okay, so I'd really recommend you to do this with a like round object. So a book works as well if you only have heavy books at home and nothing else that's really heavy. You can also use a book, it's possible as you just saw me doing it. But I would really recommend you to do it with like a can, food can or like what I used, a glass bottle with tomato sauce. I hope you enjoyed this workout and made it until the end. If you didn't, that's no problem. Strength is a progress and it will get better. So also take the rest in between every exercise that you need. So I just made that interval for this video, but you can of course adjust it to your level. So you can take shorter rests or longer rests depending on how, yeah, how you're able to do it. Because no pressure, we're not working out to be like, someone else we're working out because we love our body and to get stronger and getting stronger is a progress so it will take time but you'll get there I promise so if you like this workout don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you aren't already a member of our cute lovely community don't forget to subscribe this channel and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos so yeah have a wonderful and lovely day and see you next time bye Thank you.